Hello everyone, today we are going to do joint part in Squares Do. We have three tables. One first one is game table, which have ID, match date, stadium, team one and team two columns. Second one is E team, which have ID, team name and coach. And the last table is goal, which have match ID, team ID, player and game time. You can see the first four entries of those tables. So let's get started. The first example shows the goal scored by a player with the last name Bender. And it explains star, star list all the columns. And it says show match ID and player name for all goals scored by Germany. And it gives a team ID for Germany is Ger. So we, use, we select match ID and player where team ID is Ger. Germany and I can show you the star if we say star it gives all the columns but It wants us to do this So let's do that in the second question It says Lars Bender scored a goal in game 1012 now we want to know what teams were playing in that match so we select ID stadium team 1 team 2 as it says so and from the game uh, game ID is 10 12 so it was uh, between Dan Denmark and Germany and stadium was the view arena let's go with third question and it says it's you it makes us use the join we can join table using the ids they have both match id and id has the id of the match so we can combine the tables using that we can join the tables we join game on goal using this ids and we have the condition where team id is germany we find the all the uh, matches right all the matches of germany no, all the goals of germany sorry because we have the goal table use the same join as the previous question show to team one team two and player for every goal scored by a player called mario and it says player like mario this is our condition we put the condition at the end we joined using the IDs and we printed team 1, team 2 and player. Let's see Mario Gomez, Mario Man Mandzukic and Mario Baltelli was the players. And we have a E-team table that gives the details of every team. And we can, it says we can join goal to E-team using team ID plus ID. It wants us to show the so these columns for all goals scored in the first 10 minutes so it's again our conditions game time is smaller equal to 10 and we will select these columns we will join this using the ids to join game with eating you can use either this or this can you join using team 1 or team 2 it asks us to name of team and we have to find the teams where fernando santos was the coach so our condition is coach is fernando santos and we use team one as our join column because it's us, it's us to do so list the player for every goal scored in a game where the stadium was national stadium marshall i click this our condition is stadium is for this and are joined using the id equals to match id because uh, you can find how to join in here its primary k is id its primary k is id and they can uh, it's this id is the id of the teams this id is the id of the game these are ids of the team so you can join it using this or this uh, is much id is the same as this id so you can join it like this 
and this team ID can be joined using this ID and team ID. PK means primary K and FK means foreign K in here. Let's continue. Where were we? It's eight question. Show the name of all players who scored a goal against Germany. And we have so Germany should be in the match. So team one or team two should be Germany and the person who scored goal should not be in Germany because we have to find goals that scored against Germany. Sprint. We joined using match ID and we write the conditions. Same in all questions. Show team name and the total number of goals scored. Uh, it counts the rows. It depends how many rows are there. Uh, I group by team name and it counts how many goals in there, how many goal uh, rows in there. Show the stadium and number of goals scored in each stadium. It's same. If I just changed the team name to stadium. For every match involving Poland, show the match ID, date, and number of goals scored. So Poland should be in the match. And I group by the match ID and match date because it's it wants us to do so i group by match id and it shows us the uh, every goal scored in that match you cannot do this because uh, in this the teams are in select should be in the group by as well because they are they have the same things for every match where Germany scored, show match ID, match date, and the number of goals scored by Germany. Uh, I first joined using ID equals to match ID, and in the goal uh, table, we can say team ID. The it gives the goals that Germany scored, and I counted it using count star. List every match with the goals scored by each team as shown. Uh, we use case when type in here and to calculate the score one when team ID is team one when the team one is the score add one to score one if it's not the team one at zero. It's similar in score two if the team ID is team two. Then add one because we are looking for the goals that team two scored. If it's not team two, add nothing. So it's our table. We first join it using IDs and we group by match date, team one and team two. Those are the columns we created in here. The other ones we picked from the other tables and order by match date, match ID, team one, team two. It says in here. We submit it. It's the correct answer. Let's go to the quiz. Let's see. You want to find the stadium where player Dimitri Saltingi scores. So you have to join condition. So we we did the same thing over and over again in previous page. And how I, how we can find. It. Team scored. We can. We should use goal table, and it should. It wants us to stadium, so we will join this to this. So we will join game to goal, and it is the answer D. You join the tables goal and team in an SQL statement. Indicate the list of column names that may be used in the select line. It's the name of columns which tables goal and E team those ones and those ones no e team those ones and those ones and it's here select the code which shows players their team and the amount of goals they scored against Greece so Greece should be in the match and the team ID shouldn't be Greece because it should be scored against Greece not the goals that Greece Court. So B cannot be the answer because it doesn't give condition for team 2. It doesn't Poland, so B C cannot be the answer. Let's see. 
A can be in this conditions, D can be the answer, and E can be the answer. Let's see their difference. Game ball. Okay, it doesn't have count, so E cannot be the answer. Which one was the quiz? And this can be the answer. Let's see their difference. Okay. They seem same to me. I don't see any difference. Is there any difference? Oh, it's on and with, so it should be joined on. You can maybe see in here. This is the answer. Select the result that would be obtained from this code. Select distinct team ID match date from goal. Join game on match ID equals to ID where match date is this so it should pick team id and match state so it can't be b and d it's this this or this it says select distinct so it cannot be c or it cannot be e so the answer is a i guess yeah okay select the code which show which would show the player and their team for those who has scored against Poland and Poland should be in the game and team ID shouldn't be Poland and the stadium should be this A cannot be answered because it says Germany C cannot be answered because of this team 1 team 2 condition uh, D cannot be answered because the stadium written as this not this and can E be the answer? Let's see their difference. Okay, it says select distinct stadium. Oh no, it says show the player. So E cannot be the answer. The answer is B. Select the code which shows the player, their team, and the time they scored for players who played in Stadion Niezyski, but not against Italy. So, so team shouldn't be Italy. Let's see, not Spain and not this. So it can be A, C, or D. And stadium sh should be this. So the answer is not A, C, or D. Let's see their difference. Uh, okay, it doesn't have player, so the answer is C. Select the result that would be obtained from this code. It says select team name and count, so it can't be A, it cannot be C. Having count smaller than 3, so it should be smaller than 3. It's B or E. And uh, I think that the, this count is scored, so it's B. It's 7 out of 7. Thanks for watching. See you next time.